Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. So after its initial release, the Call of Duty skin inspired by Firecracker, the newly introduced super antagonist from the boys, had its rear assets significantly reduced by Activision Blizzard. This change quickly caught the attention of the gaming community, sparking a flurry of discussions and debates across social media platforms. Fans of the popular first person shooter were initially excited about the new skin which brought a fresh and edgy character design into the game. However, the noticeable alteration to Firecracker's appearance has led to mixed reactions. Some players have expressed disappointment, feeling that the modification detracts from the character's original design and personality, which are crucial elements in maintaining the immersive experience of the boys. Others have speculated that the reduction was made to align with more conservative aesthetics or to avoid potential backlash from various audiences. This incident is reminiscent of past controversies, where in-game character models have been adjusted post-release, highlighting the ongoing tension between creative expression and audience reception in the gaming industry. Introduced in the first episode of The Boys' fourth season, Firecracker is a wholly original character for the TV series. Played by Valerie Curry, known for her role in Detroit Become Human, Firecracker joins the ranks of the Seven alongside Sister Sage. Firecracker possesses super strength and the ability to generate explosive sparks from her hands similar to Marvel's Jubilee. She harbours a deep grudge against her former child beauty pageant rival, Starlight. Portrayed as a social media hotshot, Firecracker's genuinely racist, conspiratorial views have made her an instant hit among the show's depiction of the American right wing. In January 2024, Ahead of the boys' return to the airwaves, Firecracker and her fellow teammate, A-Train, join Homelander, Black Noir and Starlight as purchasable characters for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty Warzone. When Firecracker was first introduced into the game, her character model predominantly featured a notably curvy rear end, a detail that quickly caught the attention of fans and sparked a mini first wave. This aesthetic choice became a talking point across gaming forums and social media platforms, with players sharing screenshots and discussing her design. The attention to Firecracker's physical appearance added a layer of intrigue and controversy to her introduction, highlighting how character aesthetics can influence player perception and engagement within the gaming community. As Firecracker remained available in the in-game store, the discussions around her design continued to evolve. Some praised the attention to detail and character realism, while others critiqued the portrayal as overly sexualized or stereotypical. Regardless of differing opinions, Firecracker's initial design contributed to the ongoing dialogue about representation and diversity in gaming, reflecting broader conversations with the industry about the depiction of female characters. After her initial introduction, Firecracker was rotated out of the game store. However, Upon her re-addition to the storefront, in honour of the Boys Season 4 premiere on June 13th, fans quickly noticed a significant change in Firecracker's character model. Since her initial debut, there had been a major graphical nerfing of her design, particularly noticeable in the rear assets department. This alteration sparked immediate discussion and debate among the gaming community, with players expressing varied reactions to the updated character model. The decision to modify Firecracker's appearance raised questions about the balance between artistic vision and player feedback in game development. Some fans appreciated the adjustment, viewing it as a step towards more realistic character representation and away from potentially objectifying designs. Others, however, felt that the change compromised the integrity of the original character concept and catered too much to external pressures. Firecracker's rear assets which had been a distinctive feature of her character design, was now practically non-existent, marking a significant departure from her original appearance. Further, not only was this unnecessary change made to Firecracker's model, it also appears to have been implemented rather shoddily. As observed in a video shared by Twitter user at GamesNosh, quote, they didn't update the physics model to reflect the change, so now the jiggle physics are broken and her movements look awkward. This oversight has not only drawn criticism from aesthetic inconsistencies introduced, but also raised technical concerns among players. Notably, 
The decision to reduce Firecracker's rare assets is just the latest example of Activision Blizzard's controversial approach to Call of Duty's DLC offerings. This move has ignited debates among fans and critics alike, with many questioning the reason behind altering the character's physical attributes post-release. The decision not only affects Firecracker's visual identity, but also raises concerns about the consistency and integrity of character designs in gaming. The revision of Firecracker's model underscores ongoing conversations surrounding representation and diversity in video games. It raises important questions about how developers balance creative choices with player expectations and societal norms. By examining the impact of these changes, we can gain insights into the evolving standards of character portrayals in gaming and the broader implications for the industry. So guys, with that down, what do you think about Activision's controversial move to edit the Firecrackers model post-release? Do you see this as a wider issue within the gaming industry when it comes to female representation? Whatever your thoughts, comments and opinions may be, drop them down in the comment section below. Smash that like button and subscribe for more videos and until next time, I'll see you then.